What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight. Tonight. All right, we're coming back to X. Yes, indeed. X fans, feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined, you're doing all of the clicks and the likes and the bibbity bibbity bob. Do me a favor before you do all that stuff. Please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, well then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Christian Plenty, and Christian wanted to see me react to this song by X called Goodbye Year Goodbye. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait, wait a second, I've heard this song before. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by X The Band, okay? And the video has 58,000 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. X, goodbye year, goodbye, official music video. Wah, wah, wah. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Yeah, there's that word official coming off of, I believe that's their official page, so, yep. Look, you know what I'm gonna say, so I'm not gonna say it. All I'm gonna say is we have to just wait and see what happens and hope for the best. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. I like that little hesitation. Kind of draws you in, sucks you in. That sense of anticipation. I like that. I it. Listen, we are coasting along. Nice, good punk feel. A little bit of rockabilly in there. Do da do do da 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 do da. I like it. Uh, you know the the play with the uh the the little half. A little half step underneath. I like that. A little half step down to up. That's a C, right? So B to C to D, B to C D, E to F, E to F, B to C to D, B to C. I like it. I like it. It's nice. It's easy to groove to. It's easy to rock to. Feels good. Impressive? No, I wouldn't say that. Far from it, but it sounds good and it feels good. The pace they're at, the energy and the drive are all there in spades. Uh, and then out of nowhere, we pump the brakes. We don't come to a complete stop, but it's like you're going down Decker Canyon, right? And for those of you that don't know what Decker Canyon is, it, it's, a, it's, it, it's a fun drive, it's a challenging drive, but it, the drive kind of sucks at the same time because you're gonna wear your brakes out. A lot of it is downhill, steep downhill, with a lot of curves. So you gotta be constantly riding the brakes. Uh, and then it ends out with this with this down, just 
a straight, straight that you know it, it ramps down and it, it levels out. But uh, you know, you're you're pumping the brakes and you're slowing down, 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 but never completely stopping, just coming to a grinding. Oh, not quite. Bum, 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 bum. Didn't quite get to the T on halt. Didn't quite get there. We got to the halt. Oh, one, two, three, four. Boom. Right back into it again. That was nice. Nice. I, I liked it. It felt good. It felt good to me. I liked it. So I'm sorry if you can't relate, but I enjoyed that. Anyway, let's, let's keep going here. That's fun. That's fun. It's fun. It's a nice listen. Well, I'm not gonna sit here and blow things out of proportion and go, oh my God, it's the most amazing song I've ever heard in my life. I'm not gonna say that, but I, I might say something. I need to think about it, but I, I may say something that might shock a few people, quite possibly. Let me get my thoughts together. There's not a lot to think about, so I, I should be able to do this relatively quickly. I'll see you in the review and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was X with Goodbye Year Goodbye. This was a request from Christian Flenty. Yeah, there really wasn't a lot to think about. <laughs> I had my thoughts together in less than five minutes. Um, I know exactly what I'm going to say, so let's get to it. Starting off with the score. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give that a 6.4. Yeah, 6.4. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay, first things first. The 6.4. What does that mean? Believe it or not, it's not a bad score. Uh, a 6.4 would translate to a pretty good scale rating. So I, I think overall, this was a pretty good song. It would get 3 out of 5 stars and a B- minus letter grade. So there you go. A 6.4. Pretty good scale rating, three out of five stars and a B minus letter grade. Now, how did I come up with that score? <laughs> so glad you asked. Look, first things first, everybody starts at a 5.0. I don't care who you are. I don't care what the band is. I don't care if it's X. I don't care if it's Nightwish. I don't care if it's Baby Metal. I don't care if it's Pearl Jam. I don't care if it's Nirvana. It does not matter to me. Everybody starts at 5.0, okay? Now from there, the stock can go up the stock can go down. In this case, it went up from a 5.0 up to a 6.4. This song was fun. It, there was nothing complex about the song, nothing impressive about the song, not even close, but it felt good. It sounded good. Everything made sense. The chordal progression following a very classic punk feel, punk standard, you know, root to four to root to four. I love that little that little uh, half step, that little pickup. Uh, like it, I think we were in 
I think we were in B flat, if I'm not mistaken. So B flat, so A to B flat, A to B flat, D to E flat, D to E flat, A to B flat, A to B flat. I like that. I like that. Going down for the chorus from the major, from B flat major down to G minor. Now, is that a hard transition? No, believe it or not, it's the exact same key signature. All that, all that we're doing is we're just changing the feel. We're changing the basic note. We're changing the root note from B flat major down to G minor. You're going down three semitones to make it the natural minor of the original key. So going down to the G minor, to the F, to the E flat. I like it. And then you go back up to the G, to the F, to the E flat. But then we would transition back up to the major again for the verses. I like it. I like it. Everything about that chord of progression makes sense. Super easy, super easy to follow, super easy to anticipate, uh, and it's super easy to follow along with. I mean, you you listen to the song one time, I, I pretty much got it. I think I can, I think I, if I wanted to, if I had the time, I would just pick up my bass and play along with it right now. Very easy, very easy to follow. I did like the bass work, some of the movement around within the bass, playing playing with like the fifth, the four to five, the six to five to four, and, and oh, five to four to three to four to five type of feel. I like that. Um, but never staying up there for too long. Always making sure that we come back and we reestablish the root note every time we would transition. I like it. I like everything about this. If I'm being honest, um, the vocals, probably the highlight of the, of the song. Uh, the harmonies between them, it were really well done. Very steady. Um, very pleasing to the ear. It, it there was never when it came to the vocal harmonies, I didn't hear any dissonance. Everything sounded very pleasing to the ear when it came to the vocals. I liked it. If I'm being honest here, I'm gonna go on a limb. I, I don't know if this is a hundred percent accurate, but it feels accurate to me. I think this might be my favorite song by X. <laughs> I dug the feel on this. The, the push and the drive, the energy, absolutely one of the strongest things about the song. Going for it, it felt good. It had that push. I really liked that one section. We're about 30 seconds in, 35 seconds in, and all of a sudden we decelerate to almost a grinding halt, and then one, two, three, four, right back into it again. That was cool. Was it needed? Uh, you know what? The more I think about it, the more I think it was needed. I, I was trying to imagine the song without it, and it's missing it. Like, if you take it out, it's missed. It, it is definitely missed. So, I I'm going to say yes, it's necessary. It, it was absolutely needed. It added that extra charm to the song. I dug it. I dug the tune. This is going on playlists. I, I can't believe I'm going to say that, but I'm saying it. This is going to go on playlists. Um, maybe uh, I hesit I hesitate for the gem. I hesitate for that one, but I, I might. I might put this on the gem playlist on a trial and I'll get while I'm on the treble. I'm going to look for it and I'm going to I'm going to play it and see how it works. The only thing that scares me is that my favorite part. The decelerando, that part kind of scares me uh, for, for for being on a treadmill because my feet naturally want to follow the pattern of, of in the, the tempo of the song, and I I find myself tripping and falling. But I, I I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna give it a shot. You know, I, I I love the feel and the drive of the song. Definitely driving, driving around town, driving to Vegas. My long drive playlist. Yeah, it's going on both of those without question. It's a short short song. I think it was what. Like, it's under, I know it's under three. Well, I think it was like 211, two minutes, 11 seconds. Dear Lord, talk about getting in, doing your damage and getting out. Now I dug it. I dug the tune. I personally dug the tune without question. And overall, looking the song objectively, it is getting a pretty good score of 6.4. So let's wrap everything up here in a nice shiny bow, shall we? We got a 6.4, which is a pretty good skill rating, three out of five stars and a B minus letter grade. Take your pick, I don't care. Whichever one of those floats your boat. Final word, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. 
If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, well then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.